What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode this is episode number 86 and in today's episode as you can see we are officially starting the new season with Watford yes thank you so much for all of you for staying patient with me whilst we completed the World Cup with Canada um, I did mention episode number 84 when we started World Cup with Canada I was going to hold back any footage until the new season started in today's episode here and that's exactly what we've done so if you missed the uh, episodes with Canada the last two episodes and uh, you're wondering if you missed any Watford footage you didn't don't worry uh, basically I kept all the footage back and uh, you'll see it all here in today's episode. So starting a new season with Watford, obviously don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely gutted that the World Cup duty with Canada ended in the quarterfinal stage. If you missed the last two episodes, then basically we were on the World Cup duty with Canada and we got to the quarterfinal stages before Spain knocked us out. But either way, I'm glad the new season is now starting with Watford. Coming on the back of that incredible treble winning season with Watford, if you want a quadruple, if you can include Community Shield as well. And starting a new season off the border, giving us a budget of 52 two and a half million pounds to begin this season. They want us to win the league title once again to retain our trophy. Also reach the final of the domestic cup as well. And in the Champions League too, you'll see they also want us to reach the final of that as well. So last season winning a treble, absolutely fantastic stuff. And of course, don't forget one big reason as to why a lot of you guys want me to stay with Watford this season and not move somewhere else is because this guy has come in on a free transfer. Neymar, the Brazilian, is in from Barcelona. He becomes our first 90 rated player here at Watford. 26 years old, 90 overall left winger. But of course, if you watch my Torino career mode last season, we had Neymar at Torino and I played him as a striker. And for this season as well, a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, what's going to happen with Conor Plianka and Ryan Taller this season? You'd think Neymar would play either left wing or at the very least right wing. But with Balotelli as a strike partner, I used Loftus Cheek there last season. He wasn't terrible, but didn't do too well for us. Obviously, can't really be too surprised, not a natural striker. So with Neymar, I'm going to do what we did with uh, him when he was at Torino last season in my FIFA 15 career mode, and that's play him as a striker alongside Mario Balotelli. So Balotelli and Neymar as a strike partnership. How are those two going to work together? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Still £52.5 million to spend with Watford in the new season here. To be quite frank, I'm not really sure who my targets are going to be because Neymar coming in gives us another attacking player. We don't need all the attackers here. We don't really need too many strikers or anything, but... You'll see the squad right here as Vidra gets an injury for two months. What I'm contemplating doing is getting rid of one of Matej Vidra or Bertrand Traore and bringing in a new striker as a bench player. But we'll have to wait and see. You can see the squad right here. This is a really, really decent Watford team. I mean, it won the treble last season, so of course it's a decent Watford team. The main area to strengthen this season in the first team is the left-back area. Last season, Riedeval played in the left-back area, played out of position there. He can't play there, but he's primarily a centre-back. But I like him at left-back, played him there last season season. He did okay for us, scored a goal in the Champions League final, of course, don't forget as well. But this season, I would like a permanent and proper left-back to come in and be really, really good for us. One that's actually an official left-back, not one playing kind of out of position. So, left-back is definitely the number one area of choice I want to strengthen this season. Also, possibly bringing a backup striker and take out either Vidra or Traore, most likely the former, although he has now got a two-month injury, of course. But if we are going to be a backup striker, I wouldn't say no to this guy. Mauro Icardi of Inter. 81 overall 25 years old, 15 and a half million pounds and also the Argentine has his contract up at the end of the year so because of that we may be able to get hold of him on a cheaper deal than usual. So we put in a bit of 5 million pounds plus Matej Vidra here because Vidra, don't forget, is injured for two months. You saw his injury a minute ago there. Vidra's injured for two months. Now the reason I'm doing this is quite simple. We want to sell on another striker here if we're going to bring in a new one because we don't need like 10 strikers here at Watford. But with Vidra, he's out for two months and injured but he's the one we want to get rid of and this is a really, really, really really easy tip for you guys but basically if you have an injured player in your squad you'll know that you can't sell them because technically even if a bid does come in and they negotiate a contract he won't be able to sign as he'll technically sort of theoretically if you will not really but sort of make it up he'll basically fail a medical and he won't be able to sign for a new club that's what happened in the first season if you remember with Britos he was going to go to West Bromwich Albion because he was injured at the time he couldn't get sold on because he basically as we said failed a medical really and the club pulled out negotiations so if you want to get a, a rid of a player in your squad that's currently injured don't worry you can still do it but you've got to swap him out of the club because that way he won't fail any kind of medical he'll you know basically what you're doing is throwing him at a club and saying is your problem now <laughs> you know you're throwing a crock player at a club and saying is your problem you deal with his injury the club won't be, the, the club won't come back to you and say no we're not going to accept this beer because that player is injured they won't recognize that player has an injury so with us we're trying to swap out Vidra to Inter plus a few million pounds and Inter will just have to take Vidra they, they can't just say no because he's injured they'll just take him so that's 
that's just a little tip for you guys. If you have a player that's currently injured in your side and you're trying to get rid of him, try and swap him out to a club because therefore he won't be able to fail any medicals because the club won't recognise that he has an injury. But uh, Inter do seem to recognise because they don't want to take Matej Vidra. Uh, they say they're not interested in the player as we put in a bit of £8 million pounds plus Vidra. So we ask for £10 million pounds and wait and see what they say. We just basically put in an inquiry here and see what they say, see what they want. And as you can see, they come back to us and said £23.5 million. Pounds. And I was like, really? The guy's out of contract in the summer. If we want, we can sign him for free in January. So forget that. We're going to forget about going in for uh, Mauro Icardi there. We're going to go in for this guy instead. Romelu Lukaku of Newcastle, the Belgian striker, who a lot of you guys pointed out last season, his former club, Everton, got relegated despite having a really good side. They've lost Lukaku. They've lost Barkley to us. Everton, of course, now in the championship. Lukaku, now a Newcastle striker. We put in a bit of £10 million pounds plus Vidra, and we'll wait and see what they say. Because really, we do want a backup striker, but we also want to get rid of Vidra as well. So with Inter, we put in a new bid of £13 million pounds plus Vidra. If they say no, we'll just forget about it and pursue Romelu Lukaku instead. Because to be honest, out of the two strikers there, I'd rather have Lukaku in all fairness, as I know a bit more about him, to be honest. But uh, still, following out some more training and also another transfer bid here for Sofiane Bufal. Wouldn't necessarily be against selling the Moroccan, but either way, 81 overall, despite him not developing, I still really like the guy. He's capable of scoring some very nice goals, including that goal against Arsenal in the FA Cup final last season to win us that trophy so we're going to reject that bid from St Etienne we're not going to let him go back to France he's staying here and that's fine with me still following that into once again rejected a bid for Icardi but Newcastle did decide to accept a bid of £10 million plus Matej Vidra for Romelu Lukaku what a fantastic deal that could be selling on a player or getting rid of a player I should say is injured we don't have much faith in anyway and bringing in a very decent backup striker he accepts his contract straight away and the Belgian is going to become our first permanent signing of the window for £10 million plus Matej Vidra. So Steve McLaren lets him go on the cheap and to be honest, I'm I'm very happy with that. Like, I really, really am. I think that is a fantastic deal for us there because Lukaku, I've used him a couple times before. I really do rate the guy as well. He's in form in real life now in the Premier League too. I really do rate the guy as a striker and 25 years old, 81 overall. I think he might start off as an 80 or 81 overall in the game anyway. So maybe not amazing development for the 25-year-old, but as a backup striker, four-star weak foot three star skills very strong player that guy coming off the bench gives us a different option and I'm really, really happy with that cheap deal of £10 million plus Vidra. So a great signing there to begin the summer transfer window. In addition to Neymar coming in on a free, very, very happy with that one. And also, as we can see here, another transfer came in for Maxime uh, Pacheco de Mello. He's going to go to Bradford on a one-year loan, as well as Danny Rose, maybe going to one of my former career mode teams, Torino, as uh, they, uh, as you see, they put a bid in for him. We asked for £7.5 million, and we shall wait and see what they say. Uh, still following out more training, and uh, also as well, two players asking to play in a pre-season friendly as well. Once again, with a pre-season tournament this year, just like always, I'm just going to simulate the games as well. And in the first episode of the new season, of course, you do only see transfer business. So if you've got to this stage in the video now and you're wondering when the first game is going to be, unfortunately, you won't see one because in the first episode of a new season, we literally just do transfer business and that's it. But uh, still, we did play the three games in the pre-season tournament. And as you saw in the group stage, we were drawn against LA Galaxy, Bayern Munich and Barcelona. We beat the American side one goal to nil. Uh, Damari Gray scoring an early goal and Troy Deeney. Just typical my luck. Matej Vidra got an injury for two months. We swapped him out to Newcastle and now Troy Deeney's going to be out for two months as well as you'll see confirmation of the injury here. That's just typical my luck, isn't it? As uh, Danny Rose may be going to one of my former career mode sides, Torino, as they straight up match the £7.5 million pound counter off we asked for. But uh, either way, Deeney out for two months. Not a big blow though because he's a reserve striker here anyway. He won't get too much game time with the arrival of Lukaku as well. He falls even uh, down in the pecking order too. But uh, we lost to Bayern Munich at the German side, and then we drew with Barcelona as well in our third preseason tournament game. That means we are out of the preseason tournament at the group stage. But that really doesn't bother me whatsoever because with Watford, you know, the, the prize money, you know, of getting through the group and getting into the latter rounds of the, uh, the tournament could be quite good. But with Watford, we got fifty-two and a half million pounds. We don't really need to worry about that. So I'm not really fussed. We got out of the group stage, as you'll see. That's totally fine with me. I'm more focused on doing the transfer stuff and uh, just getting the regular season underway as soon as 
possible. Uh, still, McKendry may be on his way to Bramwell Lane, and also Danny Rose is going to stay here at Vicarage Road. Last season, he rejected a chance to go to Real Batiste in Spain. This season, he decides not to go to Italy and join Torino. He wants to stay at Vicarage Road, but that's totally fine with me because Danny Rose is a left back. He was a good first team left back. He was a good backup left back last season, and this season we will be looking for a proper left back this year to come in here. They'll be their main transfer target, which we'll look into in the next couple of episodes. But if Danny Rose wants to stay here and be a backup slash reserve left back, that's fine with me. I'm not really fussed about it. So him not going is fine. I don't care. He will stay at Vicarage Road, and that's totally fine with me. But either way, guys, that does in the first episode of the new season here in my FIFA 16 career mode. So thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Now, I do want to say really quickly, thank you to everyone that left comments in the Champions League final episode against Barcelona, where I asked you guys whether you want me to leave or stay at Watford. Loads of mixed responses. Quite a lot of you guys saying that now we've won the treble, we should look to move on. But a lot of you guys also want me to stay here at Vicarage Road as well. What I've decided I'll do is during the season, if I find a job that interests me, and I mean really interests me, that I want to take, then I'll apply for it and let you guys decide whether we should go there or not. I'll let you guys have the final choice no matter what. It's going to be totally your choice. Um, but if I can't find anything in the job offer section that doesn't really interest me that much, then we'll just stay at Watford. So really, it's going to be your choice regardless. Even if I do find a job that I wouldn't mind going to, I'll still let you guys make the final decision when and if that does come round. Uh, does come round? Does come round. But anyway, thank you for watching the episode regardless, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you're enjoying today's episode of Career Mode, then please do leave likes. So that is much appreciated. It really does so much channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.